we first actually just looked at telomerase activity, and we found that in one week of our retreat, telomerase had gone up by 40%, which was very unexpected. And uh, 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 Elizabeth then looked at uh, telomere length, which had also increased, and at this point, we did a whole bunch of molecular um, work. So we looked at uh, several genomes, and we looked at those genomes that were responsible for, or genes that were responsible for self-regulation, homeostasis, wound healing, and heart health, and we found that they'd all increased their activity, uh, some 17-fold over baseline. Uh, this paper, by the way, is under review at, in Nature at the moment. We've been asked to resubmit it as is usual with a, few, with a few corrections, so we hope to see its publication very soon. And all the genes that were responsible for inappropriate inflammation, including genes associated with cardiovascular disease, which, by the way, the risk factors for cardiovascular disease are the risk factors for almost every other chronic illness diabetes, Alzheimer's, they all went down significantly. So much so that Eric Schott, whose slide this is at Mount Sinai, he said at a, one of our conferences, he said, I can predict with 98% accuracy uh, who is uh, practicing this particular meditation. That I have a, this is a genetic signature for this meditation. So somebody in the audience said, Dr. Schott, do you meditate? He said, no said, are you planning to? He said, no. He said, but you just showed us this slide. He said, yes, I'm going to figure out how to make a drug out of this. <laughs> so <laughs> that's how we think as scientists anyway. 